What's going on, NBA fans? Welcome back to another episode of NBA Central. It's me, Bobby, with the man that speaks, Steve O. We going and checking out who was snubbed out of the All NBA because it's definitely some players on the first team, second, and third. We like, huh? But y'all already know we're gonna hit this intro and we're gonna get right back to it. Let's go. Thank you for tuning in to the number one place for your basketball fix, NBA Central, hosted by the Cognac Boys. All right, y'all. So if y'all like what y'all listening to today, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Steve-O, what's up, my boy? What's good, my guy? On a real. So we looking at, you know, the all NBA teams came out last night. So we looking at it and see who belongs and who needs to go. First day first, we're going to run through all the players on each team, and then we're going to go out and name our gripes. So on the first team, we got Giannis Antetokounmpo, Luka Doncic, Joel Embiid, SGA, and Jason Tatum. On the second team, we got Jalen Brown, Jimmy Butler, Stephen Curry, Nikola Jokic, Donovan Mitchell. And on the last team, De'Aaron Fox, huh? LeBron James, Damian Lillard, Julius Randle, huh? And Demontis Sabonis. Steve O, you wanna you wanna break this down by team or you wanna just go ahead and list out who you wanna go ahead, man. First off, let's talk about this first lap. I bet you gonna have to take Tatum and Luca out of this mug. Oh, who you replacing them with? First of all, uh Joker gotta go in there, switch that out with Tatum, and then hmm. Hmm. Who would I, Luca? You, um, Steph. Switch Luca with Steph. You gonna do that? Because I don't. I, I'm not liking that. You those for like the MVPs. Like I think Luca. I mean, I yeah. I think Giannis. Um, put uh. Hold on. This 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 guy. Not mine. Just flustered real quick. <laughs> It just do because like how do you put an MVP in the second? But like okay, they both like because both Shea and Joker was in a MVP conversation, so put them in first. So you do uh, Giannis, Yoke, um, SGA, uh, Joe. That's cool. Steph, T- uh, um, hmm. I'm gonna just say how the hell De'Aaron Fox not 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 on the first team, or at least second. Or at least second. First of all, first of all this like whole that's third, ultimate disrespect, bro. About the only person that on the third that pretty much makes sense is LeBron to me. Yeah. Maybe Sabonis. Maybe Sabonis. Maybe Sabonis. Maybe Sabonis. Yeah. But De'Aaron Fox, in my opinion, if De'Aaron Fox should be at least on that first team, I'm with you. SGA, he definitely had the numbers, but we definitely got to consider some winning in that, man. I think that De'Aaron True. Fox right here, they doing him kind of dirty. At, at least in my opinion, so, I believe this guy had a spectacular season. He played majority of the games of the season, and he did de- he deserved to get that recognition. His team was in a position in the seating that nobody thought they would be in, all do because he came out of perform extremely well. Right. So what you feeling like Giannis uh put I'm him taking, in for I'm uh, taking Luca out for take sure. Take Luca out, and put him in there. Fox right there. So would you would you want to switch Luca at the second or the third? I put him in. I put him in the second. And honestly, Giannis, I put him in the third. Did, that's fine too. I ain't even gonna so I switch him out with uh Fox. I switch out uh Tatum with either Joker. We probably Joker. Okay. I don't know how you feel so about Joker, that. I kind of. I'm I'm kind of on board with that too because Joker yeah. was present for the, most of the season as well. And yeah, top you know two. what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And like. The man put up the numbers. We can look at the numbers, but we, if we look at individual performance, he literally the only superstar on his team, and he was the number one seed in the Western Conference that was packed like sardines when it came to trying to find out what seed everybody would be before the playoffs started. Yeah, that's why, yeah, you got to put him in the first team. Put him in the second, it's just kind of wild. Uh, I, put him, You go ahead. I was just going to ask you, man, like, honestly, I think, to be fair, I think you got to switch out Giannis with, well, well, MB right there, too. That's what so I'm saying. I wouldn't even argue that. I'm much, not, but. that's what I'm saying. I'm not tripping with that because those are all MVP candidates. Those are all right. MVP candidates. So it makes sense. And they all was winning. 
But yeah, but but out of those three MVP candidates, I believe, hell, if you got to remove somebody from here, Giannis should be replaced by Joker because Joker led the MVP yeah. running for most of the season. Yeah. Yeah, he you did pick it up. Yeah, MVP. He uh Jonathan's made his strong, strong case for about three weeks after the All Star game, and it went back right. down to uh Joel and uh Yoke. So yeah, and let's yeah. keep it a buck. The only reason he started to get that recognition is because I believe they went on that 16 game winning mm -hmm. streak, and then they started to grab attention, and then you know, the after That's that exactly what it was throughout the entire season. Most people was talking about Joker and MB, but I do gotta pose a question. I'm not saying the guy is trash. I believe he had a solid season. But how the hell is Julius Randle on this? Yeah, I could have easily replaced him with Larry Marketing. Damn. You said you replacing Julius Randle with who? Larry Marketing. I'm with you, bro. I can't That's even argue with you. That's the most right there. I can't even argue with you. Larry Marketing, when it comes to the season, I know we hell, have to account. I know we KD account. didn't make it. Oh, that's tough. Like, Maybe because of the injuries? See, I can see that. I mean, I can see that. Can but see then that. we get, but then we gonna bring in Ja. I think, I think Ja should have been on there. Yeah. But if if we coming with Ja, we saying who coming out? I will put Ja in before Dame Lillard. I put Ja before Dame. I'm sorry, you won't win it, folks. I like, I like Dame. Dame, one of my right. favorite players in the league. But I'm definitely putting Ja in before Damian Lillard, simply because. And honestly, you tell me if I'm tripping. I believe they TO'd Ja Morant because of the, the, the stuff that went on in the club. I believe they went and was like, nah, you did that. Bro, y'all just cost this man $40 million. And, yep. and if and if it was anybody that was going to come out there and say, we had to teach him a lesson, that ain't child job. It's the organization and the NBA jobs to do. The writers, y'all supposed to be voting subjectively. You know, you know, objectively, however, you're supposed to be open minded about this to the point to where y'all being fair right now. Y'all not being fair. Think about what he did on the court, bro. What he did mm -hmm. on the court was he put on highlights. He put up the numbers. He kept his team right at the top three again. And everything matches up. At least if you want to teach him a lesson, you at least give him third team and let the man keep some of his money. That is not exactly. your job to take away his money. That's the Memphis Grizzlies job and the NBA. Uh -huh. Not you. Ain't nobody tell y'all to be up uh, the parent teacher conference. Ain't nobody tell y'all to do all that. <laughs> but, no, for real. Cause some I get like to some degree, y'all, some of these writers are getting power, but I feel like some of y'all, <laughs> y'all abuse y'all power a little bit. Just like everybody else that gets some source of power. Y'all always tend to abuse it for uh be like you ain't paying them. Oh, bro. Like, that, I think that's a lot of that's why I, I, as I'm getting to this space I'm learning to like just not look at the money because you just don't want to be that guy looking at their money because you just look goofy at the, how you gonna tell oh yeah he I didn't like how he was acting so yeah I'm not gonna look at what he did on the court and yeah if you don't and, it's, and it says in this clause if he makes this uh, a team he gets a bonus so yeah let's not put him in there Yeah, let's put, that, let's put Dame Mr. Dame that can't win on this team that don't want to leave you know what I'm saying? And that and to me, that's tough. I'm 100 percent with you. Totally unfair. Like, I get it. He did something stupid, but that's not what all NBA is supposed to be about. All NBA is not looking at the totality of what the man is doing on and off. It's simply on the court. That's what it's supposed to be about. And they really, really snubbed him on this, bro. And there's people that did way worse. Oh, um, bro. That to me. That would be the most egregious, in my opinion. Yeah. You got to have yeah. Ja Morant somewhere on one of these three teams simply you put because. Julius over Ja, bro. Like, I understand his positioning, but, like, good Lord. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Damian Lillard, he had some performances this season. But they was all empty calories. All empty calories. Like, yeah. all empty calories. Like, I get it. Everybody going to say, well, he, they, they was the, he was the only option. Rightfully so. But that ain't Ja Morant's fault. They, everybody been telling Dane to leave for what five years now? I'm gonna say it again. <laughs> um, bro, so we go we going on years and years and years of telling Damian Lillard to leave the Portland Trailblazers because he just Damn, wasted his talent, bro. He just mm -hmm. wasting his talent, you know. So that's that's it, bro. They bogus. I don't know. I feel like it's I mean, and y'all see they the do this every year. 
they do this every year when it comes to the All Star voting, and they come. It, it's just a snub in every situation. It just yeah. it just proves that people would be having bias and secret agendas. Yeah, because I yeah, they no way everybody just agreed to not put Ja Morant in there, not to put him in there simply because he did the dummy. He got suspended, and rightfully so. He should have been suspended. But there are players on this list that miss games due to injury as well. So, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? LeBron, hey, LeBron James, where, but some people got him as the GOAT. He only played 55 games, Steve-O. He just came back before, when this playoff started. Um, bro, he <laughs> that's literally why only played you. 55 games. And it's some other players that's missed time too. So, we they clearly not looking at how many games somebody played. They right. they clearly gave they gave LeBron that out of respect. <laughs> it literally, he didn't out need the NBA. He didn't need that all NBA. He got about eleven of them, <laughs> bro. He got right. a lot of them. So that's just what it is, man. I think that's a few players that need to be that that was snub. And honestly, he, I know it probably ain't no space for him, but you still got to consider like, damn, what happened to Jalen Brunson? Because his season was better than Julius Randle to me. It's a lot of people you could look at. Like yeah, a lot of people had solid seasons. I know it's tough, and everybody wants to bring in like just make it positionless, and rightfully so. And that's kind of why they want to make a positionless because there's players that can't fit in in certain spots because you're going by position, and they they gotta fill it, you know. Yep. And well, helping every generation is just, yeah, some some just dominate the position more than others. Is right now guards is guard heavy, so yep. it's hard. It's definitely hard. I'm with you though. But shit, did I'm mean, one more, bro. One more. Did Jimmy Butler really have a spectacular season? No. Or, is, or did he have Listen, a really they good looking at playoff? now? They bro, looking bro. At now. Come on, man. They definitely looking at it. Because I got the whole argument with somebody. They was like, bro, for him, he's a good team. I'm like, no, they're not. They just started playing good. Yes. Like they're not, they're not a great team. Like they just started playing good. I wouldn't even say good basketball. Jimmy just turned it on. Yeah. And, and honestly, that's really what it is. And honestly, to add to that, bro, that's why we always come on here and say coaching matters. X's and O's matters. Because if you got somebody over there like Mike Budenholzer or Billy Donovan, they not leading no Miami Heat team past the number one seed with all the X's and O's Spolster was doing with that. And after having Kevin Love on the bench forever and now pulling them out and now they got a, a free-flowing offense in Miami? What? That's crazy to me. Don't coaching make sense matters. how they we did that. We always say it. <laughs> Yep, it definitely matters because we at home. <laughs> we was in the same position. <laughs> For real though, but hey, that's it, man. Y'all go ahead. Y'all let us know, Steve. -O, you got any final thoughts, bro? Yeah, I just want. I'm really curious to hear y'all snubs. Make sure y'all put y'all snubs in the comments. We really want to hear it. And yeah, this just like I said, it just proves to show the secret agendas and the stuff they got out here. Absolutely, I'm with you, bro. Last thing for me is that hey. These writers, they got to be held accountable, too, because if y'all going to be uh, uh, an addition to the NBA product, y'all got to be fair. You can't right, be out here having, exactly, messing with people's money first and foremost and also not being fair because of something that happened off the field or off the court. They literally TO'd John Morant because they clearly don't like him because he did something stupid. He he faced uh -huh. the suspension, let the man, he, he did his time. He got to make up for it. everybody know that. But we just rating him off what he did during the season. Because ain't no way Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler didn't have a spectacular season. He's having he a spectacular didn't. playoffs. Let's keep it a buck. What he's uh, notorious for doing. Um, bro, and Dame Lillard. He, I love Dame, but I don't know. You need to win some damn games. And um, you ain't going to do it in the Trailblazers uniform. <laughs> um, bro, that's it. Well, that's it from us, man. Me and Steve-O, anxious to see what y'all put in the comment box. Let us know what players y'all think was snubbed from the All-NBA teams. That's one, two, and three. And, of course, you can follow everybody here collectively at NBA Central Show at gmail.com, on Twitter at NBA Central Pod. And if you want to respond or send in a, vo a voicemail to anything that we dropped today or previously, send something in, text message or voicemail to the number 773-270-2799. It's another episode of NBA Central. I'm Bobby with my man Steve-O. We're going to catch y'all on the next one. This has been a presentation of The Breaks, Breaks, Breaks Media. 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 Media.